We have fun helping you make your weekend plans here on 3 Plus U, so allow us to do it once again this morning because tomorrow night you want to head out to Finley Stadium and not only cheer on the Chattanooga FC, but to bring a toy with you at the same time. We're so happy to have Travis Ward here. He is in his first season with the Chattanooga FC. Madison Smith, who has been with the uh, organization for a while now, encouraging us to come out to a toy drive tomorrow night. Do I have that right? Yes. Uh, you know, the FC has seen, I'm sure you've heard the stories, Travis, in recent years, just a groundswell of support from Chattanooga and North Georgia fans. Um, and it's made a lot of sense that as an organization, then you look for ways to give back to the community that supports you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a great opportunity, you know, for us to be able to showcase ourselves and then also help the community out at the same time. Before I bring Madison into the conversation, let me talk to you about the game because this one's a little bit different. You're vying for the Independent Cup title, is that yeah, right? Yeah, Southeast uh, region, yeah. So right now here y'all are first in the East Division, but tomorrow night you're playing an amateur team even though you're a professional team. So how does that work? What's the thought behind it? Yeah, so I mean, you know, there's a trophy on the line, so it's an important game. No matter what, you know, whenever there's something like that on the line, you want to come out, good, good, uh, put a good performance on, and uh, obviously win. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the game um, for us is just, you know, another step in, it's that stepping stone in the right direction, and we look forward to it. But were you telling me that the kind of the idea, too, is to in some ways give this amateur team an opportunity to play against right. y'all. So the league, the league is doing that. So it kind of is, um, it's funny because Chattanooga used to be an amateur team and they were presented with an opportunity to play a professional team a couple years ago before they went pro. Mm -hmm. So it was nice to be able to kind of do the reverse thing now where we're the pro team giving an opportunity to an amateur team to come in and play against us and showcase themselves off. Okay, Madison, I want to bring you into the conversation because what you're doing tomorrow, and really it's going through the month of July, but tomorrow night is the game, is you're looking to give back to, uh, is it for Toys for Tots? No, it's actually for Children's at Erlanger. Okay. Um, yeah, so they are actually hosting a Christmas in July toy drive um, for their children that are going through procedures and, you know, very unhappy times in, in, in their life right now. So these toys are basically just trying to cheer them up through through the process. And we they're running extremely low on mm -hmm. those items, and we thought we would... Um, be a part of the change and, and help them out. So what you're asking, and I, I asked about the Toys for Tots, sorry for the confusion, but some of what you're asking for is similar to what their criteria are because you want a new unwrapped toy, correct? Yes, ma'am, yes. Uh, but how does it work? People just bring it to the game tomorrow? Yes, so um, whenever you do come out to a CFC match, there are uh, two gates and there's multiple barrels that you can throw those toys in. And once you actually donate a toy, you are entered into a um, 12 days of Christmas uh, gift raffle. So oh, we have a lot of um, fun gifts and toys for people that, um, I say adult toys, uh, like we have a $100 gift card to Barn Nursery. So you can get a wreath during the Christmas season or you know, use, a, use it for a Christmas tree. And we have little Debbies, um, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't have an, or an event in Chattanooga and not have little Debbie represented, right? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and then the continuing, I mean, the giving can continue through the month. If you can't make the game, you can bring a toy to Children's Hospital, is that right? Yes, that Throughout is correct. Throughout the month of July. Okay, so let's talk about the game. Uh, are you nervous about it? <laughs> no, we're not nervous about it. Are you cocky? <laughs> uh... I don't know if it's cocky. You're it's, confident. It's, it's confident, you know. <laughs> no. it's, I've, I've, it's been really fun talking to Travis this morning because you were kind of sharing with me how you got into playing soccer. And I think it's relevant because I know you began as a little boy, but your parents didn't have you going down one path. They let you try a lot of different sports, right? Yeah, so, you know, they gave me an opportunity uh, to try kind of anything I wanted to. And I was, you know, really big into multiple sports, um, which I think at the end of the day made me kind of decide which sport I wanted to choose, which, you know, I'm happy about. I chose soccer, um, but, you know, it's nice to be able to have different, you know, you learn from every sport differently. You get different sure. relationships from different sports. You meet different people. So I think that has helped me a lot um, yeah. in today. You, I, I liked what you were sharing with me that you had been a baseball player. Yeah. Um, but you, did you have an opportunity to travel overseas? Is that what it was? Or you just saw that if you did travel, the soccer uh, 
fan base was so strong everywhere that it's yes. kind of a universal sport. So like my brother and my and my cousins played soccer in college. So as I was in high school, um, I was able to go to their games, and then I actually had an opportunity to go over to Barcelona and go to um, a Barcelona game and watch Messi play and stuff, and just seeing that atmosphere mm -hmm. and the love for the game and stuff like that, it kind of just persuaded me into falling in love with it and and. You know, it hasn't changed since. It probably hasn't sunk into you totally that you're not the little kid anymore, but now the little kids are in the stands nudging their parents going, look, mom, there he is, there yeah. he is. Do you realize that? And is that kind of a thrill for you to think you might inspire somebody else? I mean, you know, that's, at the end of the day, is kind of what, why you, you play the game, you know, to inspire the next generation and to kind of, you know, encourage them to be the best that they can be. Mm -hmm. and. Now being on the other side of it, seeing after the game, being up, being able to see them in the fans, interacting with them, stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it's something that you don't want to take for granted, and it's um it's it's really cool to experience. And I have less than a minute left, Madison, but that is part of what sets the FC apart somewhat is that the fans do kind of have access to the players; they get to to know them, sort of. Yes, definitely, and something that we pride ourselves on is being locally driven um, and community driven so our fans i believe they they feel that as well um, because we we love our community well best of luck oh that was an impressive catch <laughs> uh, best of luck to you tomorrow 7 30 is the game time please think about bringing a toy again new unwrapped they'll have uh, the bins at either entrance when you come into finley stadium and by the way there's still time to get annual passes uh, if you want to go and support them on a regular basis and when not if they make it to the postseason those annual passes are good for that too chattanoogafc.com to get your tickets